everybody it's Jules again and I'm going to show you now how I mix my paint the green is already mixed I have made my own concoction for turquoise um, it is Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green with a little bit of Artist Loft turquoise mixed together. I just wanted to add a slightly more blue hue to it. And then we add Floatrol that I get from Home Depot. And it's about forget how much it is I think it's like about $12 for a gallon and I'm gonna add flow to this roughly I do like one part paint to four parts flow troll uh, mix this in oh I like that turquoise it's really pretty And I want it to be slightly thinner than that. It's kind of like Tiffany blue, isn't it? So I'm going to add a tiny bit of water, not a lot. So you can see the consistency, it just runs off the stirring stick. It's kind of like um, like a thick soup. So there's that. I'm going to be using Artist Loft Flow Acrylic white paint which I have already mixed up in here this is got flow and mortar in it no silicone and lastly I have cerulean blue mixed with phthalo blue from Amsterdam acrylics I really wanted to use Prussian blue but I've run out and AI Friedman closed down here, well they seem to be closing down everywhere. So I'm making a concoction, it's not, it's not as pretty as Prussian blue or as dark. And I don't wanna mess with colors right now. So in here I will add some more Floetrol. mix this before I add the water. The phthalo blue is really lovely color though. Okay, a little bit of water. And I was going to do an, a um, lemon squeeze pour. You've just seen my um, sink strainer pour that came out really well. It's, it's not quite dry yet, but it, it really was pretty. But I think on this one, I'm just going to do a dirty flip cup. So that is all nicely mixed maybe actually a smidge a smidge more water and details of the paints that I'm using today are listed below this video along with the link to my own website and my Etsy store 
so you can check those out. And there's also a link to Amazon where you can buy all the products I recommend for artists. So, first of all, let me put some kitchen towel down because I don't want it dribbling on my canvas. Do some white. It's kind of thick, that white, actually. It's a little too thick. No, it's fine. And some turquoise. I'm going to add some silicone treadmill oil just to the turquoise. Give it a little stir. I don't want it to go crazy with cells. Some turquoise. And my phalo blue concoction. If you pour it around the edges, it mixes less. If you pour it in the middle, it kind of dives down. Uh, but you can see already it's beginning to sell. And some of this beautiful green. Don't want the green to take over though. And we'll do some white. For this is a nine. 9 by 12 um, just canvas panel and um, it has already been pre-gessoed so you don't have to worry about that and roughly what you need for a panel this size would be about um, 7 or 8 ounces of paint I think this is a 10 ounce cup I've got here. So I've got about six ounces in there already. Do some more blue, try and do it around the edge. I don't know if you can see, if you put dirt around the edge, it doesn't drop into the paint as much. And some green. And lastly, some more white. So remember what to do when you're pouring paint into a flip cup. The first color you put in is the last color to come out. And the last color you put in is the first color to come out. So, artist panel, which I've masked the back of. And you still have a slightly sad hand, so it's kind of hard for me to work with. So turn it up. I'm going to leave it a little bit. The paint to work its way out. And let's see what we have. Ooh. Me likey. Oh, I love these colors. Look at those cells. So we'll move it really slowly because I don't want it to go all zigzaggy. And I've got a feeling this is going to be so pretty when I torch it. This is crazy cells.
Oh, I'm definitely going to give you a close-up of this. I'll bring it back a bit. I don't know if you can see these cells are beginning to stretch out. So all you have to do is go back on it and see if I can put some in the corner to encourage it to run off. The other thing I'm kind of tempted to do, but I'm not going to because this really is so pretty. I was tempted to put my pipeline in and just pour white paint and go through the middle. Rather like, I might try that actually. This is an experiment. I've, this is only an artist panel. And the whole purpose of this was to experiment. So I'm going to do that. We'll call it a reverse pushing the paint. It might add a lot more interest to it anyway. I always think when you have negative space it's much nicer. So again I'm going to push this down here. Now you see when you put paint in the corners it um, helps it flow better. Okay, so am I gonna do this? Before I do that, I'm gonna bring you down to look at some of the cells and I'm not gonna torch it until I've finished because I don't know what these cells are gonna do. So I'm gonna give you a close up. You can see how how pretty those cells are. There's always an eye somewhere staring up at me, a beady little eye. There is the eye. Can you see that little green eye? around this way. There. See, I'm always being watched. Ooh, look at that. That's lovely. All right, now I'm going to do the reverse pushing of the pipe. Okay, I think this bit's kind of bland. I think I'm going to put my little pipe here and pour some white paint in. Ooh, it's kind of a lot, but that's fine. I can never put gloves back on once I've taken them off. Oh, I've spoiled my green paint, but look how cute that is. Can you see? Oh, lovely. Oh, well, it'll mix in. That green's bright enough. So the other thing is, shall I bother? I'm going to put a drop of treadmill lubricant in there. Just mix it up a tiny bit. So this should be interesting to see how this comes out, but it's all fun and games. Now lift it very gently. That's much more interesting. I might even do another one down this way. This time with no silicone in it. Oops, shoot. Okay. It's 
See, look, no silicone in that white, but there's so much silicone in all the other colors. Anyway, that was a nice experiment and it's got great cells and um, the paint consistency, by the way, helps maintain the cells. If it's too thin, it just, they just run away. So I hope you enjoyed that. And don't forget to hit subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.